There was a saying, Phil, uh, by a traitor. It was never meant to be. Oh my god. You didn't. To many, this event right here would mark the end of the Dream SMP's popularity, which is known to be one of, if not the most popular Minecraft server in history. But how did it get so popular, and how did it fall off as hard as it did? This is the rise and fall of the Dream SMP. The first ever stream on the Dream SMP was by no other than Dream himself. The server was meant as a way for him and his friends to be able to play multiplayer Minecraft. His friends included Sapnap, George Not Found, as well as Bad Boy Halo, which were commonly showcased in his videos. They would begin by doing normal Minecraft things such as building a house, until Dream decided he wanted to spice up the server a little bit and invite some other content creators that he knew. One of them included Tommy Init, who he noticed had a very interesting personality that could make more people want to watch the server. Tommy would begin to go in their house and grief them, stealing their items, attacking them, and much more. This would go on for multiple days, until Dream was fed up of it. After Tommy and Sapnap teamed up to kill Dream over and over in his next episode, Dream would steal Tommy's music discs. Now if anyone doesn't know, I spent hours getting these music discs, and on the Dream SMP server, they're my most prized possession. Not my discs! Yes, anything but my discs! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Has he, has he actually oh. taken the discs? Yep, they're gone. Oh no! Oh no! And little did everyone know, this would spark the first major war on the Dream SMP. Now that Dream had Tommy's most prized possessions, Tommy would continue to fight for them if it's the last thing he did. Dream. No, stay, stay back, stay back or the diamonds are getting burnt. Listen to me, you drop the discs. Finally this time, all right? I drop the diamonds. Why don't oh, I just kill yeah, both of you? Uh, because I will cry. Be Despite this war continuing to go on, there was something new on the horizon of the Dream SMP. And it all started when someone joined the SMP by the name of Wilbur Soot. Wilbur Soot was trying to start his own nation where he and Tommy in it could sell drugs legally. Although, unfortunately, this would start one of the biggest conflicts on the server. Dream and the rest of his team were not happy with them making their new nation. And right after Wilbur signed their Declaration of Independence, Dream proposed the Declaration of War. Wilbur, he's dropping you a book. What does it say? What does it say? The oh, Declar- oh, oh. Wait, can what? you read it What's out? It What's it called? The Declaration- The Declaration of War. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a state of war. This is how we consolidate our power. Men, this is not something to fear. This is how okay, we yeah. this is how we show that we are a nation. If we can if we can hold this off, if we can thwart their advances, do you know why they're attacking us? Power, greed. They're scared. If we can show that our nation is strong enough to hold up against an army then we can show that we're strong enough to run independently. They decided to name their nation Lemanberg, and this was their chance to show everyone that they could be independent. And despite their unfortunate lack of items, Dream's team showed up, and they were ready for war. Stand listen, back! Listen, stand back! Stand back! Oh, 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 no. oh, oh my god! Okay! Oh my All right, with my That's one arrow. Way. That's all we need. Come I'm on, Tommy! Away, my oh, shot. That's all we need, Tommy! I missed! Get Shut up. the top. I want half slabs on the windows. I want complete cover well, okay. firing right. on them. Well, in that case, we need to go to Punz's tower. Look, it's the same height. Okay, head round, boys. Head <laughs> round. Let's go, let's go, let's do it. Right, we, need, we need to make a bit of a base. Okay, wait, wait. Let me make a bit of a, a bit for us I to stand. Okay, I'm shooting down. Yeah, okay. Fire on them, Tomo. But in every great war story, there's always someone that backstabs. <laughs> the man Berg strong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us go. What? What? <laughs> what? What's this button do? There's nothing in the chest. Down with the revolution, boys. What? It was never meant to be. And you see, despite Eric basically ruining the chances of Lamanberg winning the war, at this point, Tommy was worth giving up anything to save the nation. Even his remaining discs, his most prized possessions. Dream, you know, oh yeah, you know, yeah, you know what? Why don't we fight Tommy, right now, Dream? Why don't we Tommy, fight right now? Why don't we one Tommy, versus calm. one? Why don't we have a little bow duel? Half Tommy. a Tommy, I'm already on half a heart. Why don't we just have a 1v1? This man does not speak for me, Dream. But if this is something you're willing to do and something Tommy's willing to do, then I will, I will let it happen. If you win, you can have independence. If you lose, you don't get independence. And I get mellow high. Well, but what happens if I miss? What happens if I miss? 
Tommy, this was your condition. I told you, your passion and your fire in your heart is, is brilliant for the war, but it's not good in these situations. You've, oh my gosh, you have, you, you've really got yourself in a mess. 10 paces fire. Ah. No, dream, no, no, Liz, can we go in a call for one second? Just a millisecond. Okay, I'll do this for the Manberg. I'll give you both of the discs if you let us have our independence. Wait. Cat and Melahai. That is a very, very interesting deal. That is very selfless of you. Those are your discs. For the, for the Manberg, you know, for Wilbur, for Tubbo. Not for Eric, you know what? There's two discs from our war. From our war dream. We will we will not go into your, your grounds unless we're allowed, and we will not You you respect you. us. Yeah, yeah, just independence, yeah, man. Just independence. You. Tommy, what what was your what was your negotiation? Where are you, Tommy? Uh, we're in the Manberg. Just for right now, I would rather. Uh, Wilbur Wilbur, I I've I've secured our independence. You You what? What? How? What? How? What did you and, do? And you what have you done? And you understand this is What happened? What did you do? What did you? How did Elaborate. you negotiate this? I gave him the discs. Will I gave him the discs? The you discs. gave him all the discs. All of them? Yeah. My my right hand man, Tommy, in it. What the? You get over here. Get get over. You have the Declaration of Independence, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Have you got? I need a new chest? book. I need leather. I, I need leather. I need paper. I need ink, and I need feathers. And just like that, Tommy secured the independence for him and his nation of Lemanberg. From here on out, the nation would go great. They would be able to sell drugs however they pleased and rule the nation overall however they wanted. But everything would change on one fateful day. In order to re-establish Wilbur's power, he decided to host a presidential election, in which he would hope that all of his citizens would vote for him and re-establish his power. So I was thinking, what better way of making people believe that you're in charge by having them vote for you, right? How yeah, about yeah. this? How about this, Tommy? What we hold think? an election. We don't tell anyone else that we're that we're holding an election, and then we shut the ballot when it's only me as president and you as vice president running. So when the vote comes, they have to vote for us. So, at this point, they would go back to Lemanberg to create the ballot, only telling one person about the election, who goes by the name of Quackity. And let's just say, this would be a big mistake. Reasons to vote. One, we won the war. Tubbo. Three, we don't like Sapna. <laughs> he Tubbo? We just don't. He's just not that true, appealing. True, true, true. <laughs> mm, nope. You know what I don't like, what don't Wilbur? Like? What don't you like? You know what I don't like? I don't like... Any of it, Wilbur! I, I hate all of it! Wait, what? We can't abolish our no, policies. No, We're we not abolishing our policies. Man, that's, I, mean, that's I just... have an announcement. What? <laughs> I will not be- I will not be part you? of this uh, democracy injustice. This here would oppose as a big threat to Wilbur and his nation, as Quackity would be one of the first people to open up his own political party on the server, running for president of Lemanberg. Over time, more people will run for president, and there will be more parties. Some of these parties led by Fundy, as well as one by Jay Schlatt, who formed out of nowhere. Jay Schlatt was originally Wilbur Sutt's endorsement, but while he was drunk one day, he decided to run on his own. Democracy is overrated. <laughs> Whoa, wait, no, no. wait, no, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You don't, you think you need a president? You think you need, I'll be my own president. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I'm cut the mic, cut the mic, cut the mic. Stick to the script. Cut the mic, cut the mic. I run myself. This was our endorsement from Jay Schlatt. I run myself. Back forever, everyone. No, 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 Schlatt 2020. And after the election results were in, it was time for Wilbur to reveal them. With 9% of the vote, 20,000 people or so, in fourth place is Coconut 2020. Yeah! Oh. 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 Coconut 2020 Lord is. Yeah! Lord, Lord Almighty. Yeah! Last one! 20,000 people! With 16% okay, of the vote. Coming in third place is Schlatt 2020. Oh. <gasps> now that's a surprise. Now, oh that Lord. leaves two parties oh. left, doesn't oh it? Lord. Where are you, Big oh Q? Oh my Big, Lord. Big Q, look at me. Oh my Lord. In second place, with 30% of the popular vote, led by... 
the party leader, Quackity. Swag oh, 2020. Oh, meaning, oh, meaning that the winner of the popular wait, wait. vote by 45% is Pog 2020, led by the incumbent. Yeah. Listen, 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 please stop. Oh my lord. Please, we Tommy, we won. Tommy, we won. But listen, please stop celebrating. Guys, Tommy, Tommy, calm. Calm down, we Tommy. Did it, Wilbur. Like, two nights ago on the night of the election, uh, after the announcement of Schlatt 2020 and Coconut 2020, Quackity made a deal with um, the leader of Schlatt 2020, uh, Mr. J. Schlatt stood behind me. Quackity said that no matter what happens, Quackity would pool Swag 2020 votes on with Schlatt 2020 votes. <laughs> Hog 2020 got 45% of the popular vote, meaning that the coalition government of Schlatt and Swag 2020 got 46% of the vote. Jay Schlatt and Quackity were voted as the new presidents of Flamanberg. But what would be their first degree as presidents? Well, it would actually be to exile both Tommy and Wilbur, leaving them to run as far away as they can and find safety. They would eventually build a little house inside of a cave where they would be staying for the moment, naming it Pogtopia, and they would also have some help coming in soon. Technoblade is known to be one of the best players in Minecraft, and he tweeted out asking Tommy and Wilbur if they needed any help with the war. So in the next episode, he joined to help them out. So they ran back to Pogtopia trying to avoid everyone in Lamanberg until Schlatt held his second presidential speech. This country will Wait, no what? longer take Else. We are victorious. Will, but what's happened? What's He's happened? Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Wait, what is it? What is it now? Away with it. Man you are not going to get it. We don't take L's, Tommy, and it only you do. <laughs> it's Here fucking we go. We go. Manberg! It's Manberg, Tommy. It's Manberg. Ah. Pogtopia had to act quickly to get their nation back. Also, Tubbo was their spy on the inside, which helped give them insight on things going on in Manberg. But Wilbur had another plan in mind. He didn't see Lamanberg ever coming back to his former glory under his power. Therefore, he made a bargain with Dream to try to get a bunch of TNT. And I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. He wanted to explode the entirety of Manberg. And let's just say Tommy was not very happy with this decision. Yeah, Daddy Dream! Oh, wait, no. This isn't right. This just isn't right. I'm not gonna betray you, Wilbur. And I'm gonna stand by your side, but this isn't the right way to go about this. You know this as well, Dream. We can we can build back Lemanberg. It can be what it once was. But blowing it up just isn't gonna solve anything. It's only gonna waste more time. And we don't have enough time. At this point, Wilbur was getting kind of psychopathic, and the thought of blowing up Manberg just kept growing and growing on him. So, with the upcoming Manberg Festival, their plan was to sneak in and watch, and maybe explode it at the end. Tommy said that he would support Wilbur with any decision that he made, but what happened at the end of the festival was not expected. Also, Techno was invited to the festival, but he was still on Wilbur and Tommy's side. This happened. Uh, I'll cut to the fucking chase, alright? Hello. Yeah. I know what you've been up to. What have I been up? What what are you, what are you talking about? What have about? I been up to? He says what? <laughs> what have oh. I been up to? Flat, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually trapped in here. With the flat. idiots, with with the with the the tyrants what that you... we kicked out of this server, that we kicked out of this great country. Do you know I what happens to uh, to traitors, Tubbo? No. Nothing good. Cool. Oh. Uh, right. Hey, uh, hey, right. Technoblade, you want to come up here for a second? Uh, no. What's going on here? We, uh, I'm actually, I still can't, uh, slap. Tubbo, uh, as, as the enemy of the state, and as, uh, perpetrator to these awful, awful people that you've been helping. We're fine. Te Techno's on our I side. Know either. Please, if you would. If you would be so kind. Uh, what, what are Take you asking, Slat? Technoblade, we're, uh, we're running out of on a tight schedule here, so... What, what, what do you want out of me, Mr. President? Oh, I mean, I mean... Techno, I need, I need you to take him out. What? We have him though. Wait, you was You're going to take him out to dinner, bro. You, you're going to kill him. You're going to kill uh, him right now. You uh, what? No. Uh, now, I don't care. Now, on this fucking stage! 
I'm, I'm loading. How oh, are you I'm gonna loading. do it? Check the plate. You're gonna, it? <laughs> you're gonna make him. You're gonna, you're gonna make him. Not the festival rock. It's not the. He festival can kill Shlan. He can kill Shlan. Do it, Techno. Of this, kill him. Uh, Holy shit. Of this kill not the festival we rock. What? Tubbo. I can't. Yeah. Tubbo, I'm sorry. I'll make no. it as, as painless and Techno. colorful as possible, Tubbo. <laughs> no. Tubbo, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tubbo, I'm, I'm being oh. subjected to some mild amounts oh of peer pressure, Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah. No. Oh my god! 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 And then, Wilbur went to look for the button to explode Manbird. Wait, wait, wait. wait, where's the fucking button? <laughs> We gotta get out of here! Oh my god! Chat, where's the button? Chat, where's the button? Chat, where's the button? Chat, where's the button? Chat, where's the Everyone fucking button? Everyone go after Tommy in it, right now! <gasps> what the <laughs> fuck's the button?! <laughs> what the hell just happened?! What just happened? Uh, I don't actually know. With Techno killing Tubbo, Pogtopia was divided. Tommy was now suspicious of Techno, thinking that he betrayed them by killing Tubbo. And Wilbur continued to get more psychopathic, egging Tommy on, telling him to get more and more mad at Techno and fight him. And overall, Pogtopia was being torn apart. But the war must go on, and people were joining Pogtopia, and trying to help them reclaim what is theirs. Some of these people include Fundy, Eret, and the former vice president of Manberg, Quackity, who have been mistreated by Schlatt's dictatorship. But without further ado, the war for Le Manberg commenced. Are we going? Oh, Let's go to Wait, Where do we go down? Where's this? I got one. Down. Oh, nice job, Where Tech, are you going? Oh, no. They're down here. Oh, 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 we're winning! You're winning, you're winning, you're pushing them back! That's purple over there. Pushing them back. Purple. There's too Where many people going? on the server, I don't know who's We're on whose right. side. Wait, I'm pretty sure Dream is. isn't on our side. Get her! No, Wait. no, don't, don't do that, Dream. Come on. Come on, oh. don't, don't do the crystals. Oh, fuck. Don't crystals. shoot that, Dream! Don't do the crystals! <laughs> that is, I'm telling you now, as a, as a man who knows something about <laughs> 11 and a half stacks of TNT, I'm telling you, do not use the crystals. <laughs> He's got enchanted. Oh, his dream, his dream! Get him! Get him! He's right there, he's right there! He's, he's running, he's running, he's running! He's running! Wait, he's backing out! He's backing out! He's, 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 he's fleeing! No, I'm on your team, I'm on your team, I'm on your team, I'm on your team, I'm on your team. You worked before. <laughs> I changed my mind, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. Yeah, oh, wait, boom, finally, on I'm surrounding someone else! <laughs> this is what it feels like on the other side. Who wants to talk with Will alone? Hello, Dream. Yeah. So, Schlatt's an idiot. What? Well, yeah, how long did that take you to figure out? <laughs> well, I mean. Wait, where did Schlatt go? We escaped in the chaos. Wait, like, where is Schlatt? Actually, Wait, where is Schlatt? Can you can you tell your your guys to to stop pointing guns at me? What? Wait, Wilbur says what? weapons down. Hey, hey, what? Hey, hey. Weapon. It's just uh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Why? Yeah, Wilbur better not, not be making a deal with the devil right now. I I thought that fighting with him would be good, and I gave him like full netherite. Where is he? I don't see Schlatt. No. Uh, Search. Everybody, everybody, everyone, be quiet. Okay. 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 But only if my enemy insists. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to surrender, and uh, it's because Schlatt is an idiot. I have to show you something. What? 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 Follow me, Wilbur. Wait, how water. do I know this Huge isn't a trap? Opens. Wait, oh. he's hit. He's hit. Wait, you what? find? What you find? Jesus, Schlatt, what, what are you doing? doing? Schlatt, are you fucking Funny, drunk? Are you... <laughs> listen, 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 <laughs> Schlatt. I thought you were something. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I am something. I, I'm what you're not, Fundy. Oh, what? I'm a man. Yeah, oh, that's right. No, no, that's oh, it. No, I don't baby. Schlatt, are you ready to have this end now? Are you ready to die? What? Are you ready to fucking die, Schlatt? Oh. Do it, You know, me. if I die, what? this country goes down with me. No, he doesn't, Schlatt. Oh, no, doesn't. you don't even want to know Tommy, in it? <laughs> <laughs> Just do it, Tommy. Quiet. <coughs> Schlatt, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, Schlatt. Schlatt? Schlatt? This is it for you. Just... This what is where you, you die. Toast? You smell toast. Um. My uh, is having a stroke? Hello? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Oh, 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 what? Oh, uh, what? Oh, Did he? Did he just have a heart attack?
die. You just <laughs> <laughs> So with the dictator Schlatt killed, Wilbur appointed Tommy in it as the president of Lemanberg. Although unfortunately, Tommy decided to step down from this position. He still has a lot of stuff going on, including the disc war. So Wilbur decided to give the presidency to Tubbo. Okay, okay, well, I, I've been put on the spot here. I wasn't expected to be surrounded by here with friends, uh, enemies, which I don't hate all that much, I'll be honest. Thank you, everyone. It's been, it's been wow. a yeah. <laughs> Although, during Tubbo's first presidential speech, Wilbur stepped off and went somewhere else. You see, he still had 11 stacks of TNT placed underneath Lemanberg, and he felt that Lemanberg could never be what it once was previously. So, he thought that he had to blow it up. Hey, I'll be back, I'll be back. Oh, great. Chekhov's gun. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've been wondering this whole time if it still works. Because I fixed it up for today, but as you saw before, last time I pressed it, someone had someone had, had, had removed the redstone. I always, whenever I'm here, I, I'm reminded of the song that I've scribbled on the walls. The, the, you know, that there was a special place, there was, was a special place where men could go and emancipate, you know. And there was definitely that special place did exist once. It, it did. It did. But even with I, even with Tubbo in charge, it, I don't think it can exist again. I don't think it can exist again. So. The thing that I built this nation for doesn't exist anymore. The, th the thing I work towards doesn't exist anymore. It's over. What are you doing? I'm not. I'm, I wasn't doing anything. We just we just made Tubbo president. We we um we led to Tubbo president and we won. We won the war. Slat's gone. Slat's gone. Phil. So it's um. Uh huh. It's uh -huh. it's good. So, I'll... you are where exactly now? In Lamanberg, the sort the area. You wouldn't know. I don't think you've been here, but it's the area around Lamanberg. It's complicated. It's ge geography in that. You know, it's 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 geography and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was just saying that there was a special place where men could go, but it's not there anymore, you know, it's not. It is there. It's, I've you've, met... just, you've just won it back, Will. Phil, I'm always so close to pressing this button, Phil. I have been, I have been here like seven or eight times I have been here. Seven or eight times. <laughs> there, there was a saying, Phil, uh, by a traitor. It was never meant to be. Oh my god. You did. Oh my god! <sighs> my Lamanberg, Phil! My unfinished symphony, forever unfinished! If I can't have this, no one can, Phil! Oh my god. Kill me, Phil. <laughs> Phil, kill me. Phil, kill me. Phil, stab me with the sword. Murder me now. Kill me. Kills her. Kills her. Do it. <laughs> Murder me. Look, they all want you to. Do it. Do it. And that's it, the story of Lemanberg. Techno, who is actually an anarchist, had also spawned a bunch of withers in. With after all of his help to destroy the one thing that was holding them back, they went and recreated it. This led Techno to feel betrayed and resulted in him, like I said, spawning withers and destroying Lemanberg. From this point on, the Dream SMP has garnered little to no growth, with the amount of people actually talking about the Dream SMP only declining every single month. And the last actual big story that happened was the dream prison story, which was basically when every dream was taken to prison in the SMP and Techno had to go break him out. But in present day, there's barely any lore on the SMP and not many other creators even making content on it anymore. So this practically marks the end of the Dream SMP's popularity, but doesn't disregard a fact that the Dream SMP has played a huge role in Minecraft history.